Turning now to Israel at war. We're following the latest updates from the attack on Israel by Hamas militants. Israel has struck two tunnels used by Hamas to enter Israeli territory and has sealed the Gaza Strip off from food, fuel and other supplies. Tonight, at least 1,600 people have been killed since Saturday's surprise assault by Hamas, more than 2,000 wounded. President Biden confirming today at least 11 U.S. citizens are among the dead, with an unknown number of Americans still missing. And tonight, local and state leaders and members of the Jewish community came together in prayer at the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock was there and has more on how they're comforting each other and showing their support for Israel. Matt. The state house lit in blue and white tonight as Rhode Island standing in solidarity with Israel as state leaders condemning the actions of terrorist group Hamas. The smoke and explosions of war consuming Gaza after terrorist group Hamas launched a surprise attack on Saturday against Israel. In my view, Hamas has forfeited its right to exist. Thus far, more than 800 people have been massacred in Israel, more than 2,600 wounded, many of them seriously. <laughs> Tonight, Rhode Island standing in solidarity for those in Israel as Israelis stare war in the face. Well, the word that comes to me is outrage. Anger, heartbreak, fear and pain. We are going into a very long battle. The head of the serpent must be cut off. As Israelis living here in Rhode Island sharing the impact of the past 72 hours. I am shocked. I am terrified. I don't know what the next few days will look like in Israel. Fighting through tears to remind those at the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island to never forget. You need to remember the 260 bodies in the music festival. You need to remember when they went through houses in villages in Kibbutzim and shot families. As state leaders in Rhode Island say, America stands firmly with Israel. Evil manifests itself. We are all better off when it's dealt with fast, firmly, and forcefully. And while the Jewish community as a whole mourn, Rabbi Jeff Goldvoss are sharing one final message. Check in with your friends, ask them how they're doing, and know that the Jewish community is in great pain right now. Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed calling this weekend's attack the biggest threat to Israel in the past 50 years. Reporting from Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.